sequence detectors. I am receiving a lot of requests to do more and more sequence detectors. That is receiving various patterns, overlapping type. That is a sequence detector detecting two patterns with same length, different length, like that. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see a sequence detector, which is a non-overlapping type of sequence detector. And that sequence detector will detect two sequences with different number of bits. Okay, so the bits are the first or the sequences are the first sequence is 1-1 one, one, and the second sequence is 0-1-0. Zero, zero. So these are the two sequences. These sequences are not overlapping, right? Because you cannot see a 1-1 one, one together in the second sequence. So this is not the overlapping type of sequence detector. Okay, and we are going to design this sequence detector using the Miele model or Miele FSM model we are going to design. And now I am going to teach you how to draw the uh, state diagram of this particular sequence detector which is detecting this 1 1 and 0 1 0. Okay, so let us first think about how many states will it require. So we know that if a Miele sequence uh, detector is being designed, if the number of bits is n, then it will require how many states it is equal to n itself. That is for detecting this 0, 1, 0, it requires 3 states. And for detecting this 1, 1, it requires 2 states. Okay. So, uh, we will see that later. So, let us start our sequence detector design or the state diagram will start. Okay. So, the initial state I am going to take is S0. Okay, so in the state S0, I need 0 and 1 because for my first sequence, 1 is the starting bit and for the second sequence, 0 is a starting bit. So, 0 and 1 are relevant in case of S0. Okay, so I hope this is clear. This is how you have to think while you are designing a sequence detector in the state S0, which is our which state initial state. So, in the initial state, for this particular sequence detector, detecting 1, 1 and 0, 1, 0, both 0 and 1 are relevant. So, if you receive a 0, you can start your detection of second sequence. And if you receive a 1, you can start the detection of the first sequence. Okay. So, anyway, I am going to first complete my second se sequence detection, then complete my first sequence detection. So, for the case of my second sequence, it is having a what? 0, 1, 0. So, in the S0 state, if I receive a 0, I can move further because there is a progress in my second sequence. So, I am going to which state? My S1 state. So, since this is a melee type of FSM, it will be input bar output. So, 0 bar output is 0 because we have not detected our entire sequence. So, the output is 0. And from this S0 state, we are moving to S1 state. And in this state, what is the sequence we have in our hand? It is a 0 or a single 0. Okay. So, next we need what bit to complete or move further for the second sequence detection. We need a 1. So, in S1 state, if you receive a 1, your output is anyway 0, but you can move further to your S2 state. Okay. And what is the sequence you have in your S2 state? It is a 0 and a 1. So, this is your sequence you have in your S2 state. Okay. So, for the second sequence, we have obtained till 0 and 1. We need a one more 0 to complete the detection of the second sequence entirely. Okay. So, 0, 1 we have. We need a one more 0. Okay. So, this is a what type of a detector? It is a melee type of sequence detector. And we know that for a melee type of sequence detector, if the number of bits in the sequence is n, then the number of states is equal to n itself. So, here the number of bits is 3. So, the number of states possible is 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Right. So, we have used all the 3 states. So, from this S2 state, the state diagram has to move to either S0 or S1. So, to where this S2 has to move, we have to think. 
see here we need one more zero one we need one more zero right so we have to jump back to that state where we receive a single zero and if you look in the state diagram or this portion of the state diagram you can see that the state s1 is a state where receiving of a single zero so from s2 it jumps to which state s1 state if it receive a zero and here its output is one why this output is one because in this state s2 the uh, state diagram is at s2 and it is having a zero one right if you receive a one more zero means zero one zero is complete so the output is one i hope this much is clear okay so we have completed the the detection of zero one and zero and our output is one now let us look to the first sequence it is receiving of one and one okay we have some left out cases anyway we will complete it later so from s0 if you receive a one your output is anyway zero but you can move further because there is a progress in the first sequence so the next state that is s2 that is s3 we will use okay you can use any variable of your wish but i am using here s3 one bar zero so in this state s3 the sequence detector or this state is having a sequence of one okay and if the sequence detector is again receiving a one or let us think uh, in this way that the in the s3 state the sequence detector is having a sequence of only one to complete the first sequence it require one more one right so in the state diagram can you see anywhere a state receiving of single one it is the s3 state itself right so in the s3 state if it receive one more one means it will loop back to this s3 state itself and the output is one because in the s3 state it already have a one if it receive one more one means the first sequence is complete so it will loop back to s3 state and here the output is one so we have detected the first sequence and the second sequence now let us try to complete the left out cases left out cases means for every state we have to think of zero and one that is when the zero is coming the state diagram will move to which path or when a one is coming the state diagram will move to which path we have to think likewise so we have to complete all the zeros and one for all the states so for s0 we have taken both the cases right zero and one we have taken now we have to think about s1 state in the s1 state we have already talked about the receiving of what now what will happen if in the s1 s1 state it is receiving again a zero so again a zero means it is only the start of your second sequence right the second sequence is starting with 0 1 zero, 0 right so in the s1 state if it is again receiving a zero means it is already having a zero again receiving a zero means it will loop back in that state itself right because still you are at that initial zero of the second sequence so you have to loop back at s1 itself and your output is zero okay so like this you have to think when you are receiving a particular Uh, input in a particular state whether there is a progress in your state diagram detection sorry whether there is a progress in your uh, sequence detection whether you are looping to that uh, particular state whether your sequence is broke then if your sequence is broke you have to actually go back to that state from where you can restart or to the initial state because if there is no possibility of detecting your sequence then go back to your initial state likewise you have to think okay so in s1 state if you again receive a zero means zero and another zero will not make any change so again you are at s1 state itself now think about the s2 state we have talked about the case of receiving a zero now what will happen if you receive a one in this state in s2 you have zero one right so if you have zero one and again you receive a one means it is a one one right so you have to jump back to that state of receiving a single one but your output will be what 
your output is 1 because you have now received the first sequence. I hope this is clear. Anyway, I'll explain it once again. See, in the S2 state, the S2 state, you have a sequence of 0, 1 in your hand. Okay. Again, if you receive a 1, means you have detected your first sequence because 1, 1 is actually a sequence you have to detect. So, in the 0, 1 state or in S2 state, if you receive a 1, means you have to jump back to the state of receiving a single 1 and also your output is 1 because the first sequence is now detected. Okay. So, from S2, you jump back to S3 and your output is 1. Okay. So, we have completed this case also. So, which is the case now left out? Yes, for the S3 state, we have to think again. So, in S3 state, we have talked about the case of receiving a 1. In S3, we have a sequence of 1, right? So, in 1, in S3, if you have a 1, and again, if you receive a 1, means you will loop back to S3. Now, if you receive a 0, where the state diagram have to move? Anyway, there is no possibility of now detecting your first sequence, right? Because there is no zero in your first sequence. Now, we have to think of detecting the second sequence because there is zeros only in the second sequence. Okay. So, now we have to think of going to the second sequence detection and also your second sequence is 0, 1 and 0, right? So, from S3, if you receive a 0, means you have to go back to S1 because it is the state of receiving your first 0 for your second sequence. Because your second sequence is starting with a 0 and the, your second sequence detection is actually starting from S1 state. So, from S3, if you receive a 0, you are moving to S1 state. Anyway, the output or the result is 0 itself. Okay. So, now we have completed all the cases for the state diagram. So, this is a non-overlapping sequence. That is, 1 is with 1, 1. And uh, second sequence is with 0, 1, 0. So, there is no uh, possibility of overlapping. So, we have to actually design the state diagram as two parts. That is, for detection of first sequence separately and second sequence separately and then we have to interlock the states okay so we have first designed the case of for this case we have designed the case of 0 1 0 first then 1 1 detection secondly okay and then we have linked the states okay so while designing the sequence detector you have to keep these things in mind in all my videos, I have been continuously saying that when you are designing a particular state or when you are uh, writing a particular state, you have to write the sequence you have in your hand at that state at the bottom. See, for the S2 state, you have a 0, 1. So, write the 0, 1 here because it will make you think easily that from this state where you have to go. Because you have to know that what is the sequence you have in that state. So, in the S2 state, you have a 0, 1. So, if you receive a 1 means, then you have to think about your first sequence. Because your first sequence is a 1, 1. So, go back to S3. Then, if you receive a 0 means, then think that your second sequence detection is now possible. So, go back to the state of receiving a single 0. That is S1. So, from S2, if you receive a 0, go back to S1. And if you receive a 1, go back to S3. So, likewise, you have to develop your thinking. Okay, anyway, I hope that you understood how to design this particular sequence detector using the Melee model or Melee FSM. So, Melee and Moore FSM has a basic difference that Melee state diagrams use the number of states is equal to the number of bits in your sequence. Whereas, in case of Moore, the number of state is equal to n plus 1 for a n bit sequence likewise. Okay. And also the input output pattern that is for me latest input bar output. Whereas for a more type of a sequence detector or a state diagram, each state will be having a output. Okay. So likewise you have to think. 
So if you understood how to uh, do this state diagram and if it was useful for your preparation, please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. I'm receiving a lot of requests to do sequence detector. So if anybody is searching for such sequence detector, please do share this video with those friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.